Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's June 7th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. Stocks are admittedly fairly down across the board, but as of June 7, 2024, Clean Energy Fuel Score is currently down 12 cents to $2.95 per share. Evergy is currently down 34 cents to $53.07 per share. Black Hill Score is currently down 58 cents to $53.64 per share. Republic Services themselves are down 35 cents to $186.72 per share. And Waste Management down a whopping $1.44 to end the day at $200.31 per share. But moving into the news, despite their momentary stock issues, Waste Management certainly doesn't seem to be concerned with their financial stability at this point because this past week it was announced that the industry giant will buy Illinois-based waste disposal company Stericycle in a deal valued at about $7.2 billion. Under the agreement, Waste Management will acquire all outstanding shares of Stericycle for $62.00 per share in cash. This represents the deal's total value when including Stericycle's current debt of around $1.4 billion. The company said the deal was unanimously approved by their boards of directors and is expected to close as early as the fourth quarter of 2024. And up next, we're actually heading to California for our next three stories. First up, According to a new report recently released by the state, in the past 10 years, California's climate investments have wiped out emissions equivalent to taking 80% of the state's gas cars off the road. California has committed $28 billion in climate investments over the past 10 years, with $11 billion of that already being delivered. The investments include a wide range of solutions, such as putting affordable housing near job centers, building the nation's first high-speed rail, and adding zero-emission transportation options in underserved communities. The funding comes from the state's cap-and-trade program, which actually charges polluters for the carbon emissions they create within the state. The dollars collected then go to the California Climate Investments Program, which delivers the funds directly to communities across the state. And you could probably attribute a big part of that 80% reduction I spoke of to our next story, as this past week the Transport Project and Coalition for Renewable Natural Gas, along with partner the California Renewable Transportation Alliance, announced that California fleets fueled with biocompressed natural gas actually not only achieved carbon negativity in their transportation operations for 2023, but did so for a fourth straight year year. Renewable natural gas accounted for 97% of all on-road fuel used in natural gas vehicles in California in 2023. Even more, while RNG made up just 5.1% of all on-road alternative fuels dispensed by volume, it generated 19.2% of all carbon dioxide equivalent emissions reductions of on-road alternative fuels reported under the California Low Carbon Fuel Standard in 2023. But it looks like the use of RNG to power California's heavy-duty truck fleets is only going to increase, especially if our next story is anything to go off of, because it was also announced this past week that Clean Energy Fuels Corps is significantly increasing its renewable natural gas fueling footprint in Southern California with the opening of two additional stations in San Bernardino and Paris. In addition to Clean Energy's expanding fueling infrastructure across the country, Cummins recently introduced its X15N engine, the first 15-liter engine powered by RNG to hit the market. The new engine, which has similar power and torque to its diesel counterpart, can reduce carbon emissions by over 300% and nitrous oxide emissions by 90%. Chad Lindholm, senior vice president at Clean Energy, even said, quote, These station openings come at an opportune time as the demand for RNG continues to grow now that the highly anticipated Cummins X15N is available. 
there's a growing realization that the other much hyped technologies aren't living up to their promises of availability, fueling infrastructure, or cost of ownership. The RNG solution is here and now, providing fleets with incredible emissions reductions affordability. Clean Energy now has an even more accessible and reliable fueling network from the ports of Long Beach and LA to the Inland Empire. End quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even schedule a personalized presentation by calling them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Now leaving California and heading north to Washington, a new regulation within the state will open the door for dozens of landfills to improve their gas collection operations, potentially boosting the production of renewable natural gas within the state. Washington finalized its new landfill methane rule recently, requiring all landfills in the state that accepted municipal solid waste after 1992 to install a gas collection and control system and institute quarterly monitoring for gas leaks. The announcement from the state's Department of Ecology also noted a $15 million funding opportunity to install such systems. The department estimates 26 landfills are eligible for the funding. In a release announcing the move, the department estimated the rule would prevent 1.6 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions over a 20-year period. And up next, Green Gas USA and Darling Ingredients Incorporated also announced their own partnership this past week to produce renewable natural gas and capture CO2 from the wastewater streams at Darling's facilities within the United States. CEO and founder of Green Gas USA, Mark Fetton, said, quote, We are excited to announce this landmark agreement with Darling Ingredients. It is our mission at Green Gas to help businesses reduce their environmental impact by providing solutions that generate economic benefit. Darling Ingredients has been at the forefront of the effort to repurpose waste and integrate circularity into industrial operations, and Green Gas is proud to support this mandate by partnering to convert agricultural and food waste into a valuable renewable energy product. End quote. And up next, WAG Energy continues to expand operations within the United States as they recently announced the signature of a long-term contract with OCI Global, one of the world's leading producers of nitrogen, methanol, and hydrogen, for the production of biomethane at the city of Beaumont, Texas's landfill site using their patented WAGABOX technology. Specifically, OCI Global will install a capture device on the Beaumont landfill site to capture the gas emitted spontaneously by the degradation of organic waste. The gas will then be transformed into biomethane by an on-site Wagabox unit and injected directly into the local gas network. According to Wagga Energy, this project will avoid annual emissions in the amount of almost 28,000 tons. And lastly, at a Springfield, Missouri City Council workshop this past week, an update was provided on the city's Environmental Services Renewable Natural Gas Project. In a press release, it was stated that the initial capital needed for construction at the landfill and Southwest Treatment Plant is estimated at about $32 million, with an additional $3 million needed for annual operations and maintenance costs. The city said a number of financial incentives and grant opportunities are currently being pursued for the project, which is anticipated to begin in the fall of 2024 with the goal of bringing renewable natural gas capacity online for Springfield in the fall of 2025. And that has been your June 7th, 2024 Recyclist News Roundup, a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.